In the first example, we will be using Catalog API. The Catalog API is a powerful API for searching through satellite data archives. This implements the stack specification, which is a standardized method of describing geospatial information. In addition, we will be utilizing Process API. This is our most frequently used API and is used to generate images using satellite data for user-specified areas of interest, time ranges, processing and visualization choices. This is the easiest way to quickly process and visualize satellite data. To search and request satellite imagery, we need to set an area of interest. So let's run the first two cells in which we will define an area of interest in Southeast Austria. If you would like to generate your, your own bounding box, you can visit the bounding box finder website, which is linked in the Jupyter notebook. In the second cell, we also set the resolution of our request as 10 meters resolution. The function in this cell then calculates the size of the requested raster image based on the area of interest and resolution requested. In the next cell, we initialize the Sentinel Hub catalog class. And from there, we can build the catalog API request in the cell after this. In this cell, we define the area of interest boundary box, our time interval, which is between the 1st of July 2022 and the 20th of July 2022. In the search iterator, we define the, the data collection as Sentinel-2 Level 2A data. We then define the bounding box we created earlier and also add a time interval and any data fields that we may wish to include or exclude. We then create an iterator class, which we can use to print out our results. As you can see, we return a total number of eight results, showing that we have some data that we can request using process API in our area of interest and time range. Next, let's run the first process API example in the notebook. In this example, we will output a true color image of a Sentinel-2 Level 2A image. First, let's have a look at the eval script. This is a piece of very simple JavaScript in which we define inputs and outputs. In this instance, we output a true color image. Therefore, we only need to import the blue, green, and red bands before outputting them in a free band image. Next, let's take a look at the Sentinel Hub request. We can see that we have several required parameters. As well as the eval script, we needed to find a data collection. Here, this is the Sentinel-2 Level 2A data collection. We will also define a time interval in this instance, the 1st of May to the 20th of May 2022. In addition, we've also inserted an additional argument here called mosaicing, least CC, which instructs the API to search for the least cloudy image in that time period. This is based on the cloud cover percentage from the original Sentinel-2 tile. In addition to that, we will define the output response as a PNG image for this example. Lastly, we will define our bounding box created earlier. Remember the size of the image that is returned is based on the area of interest and spatial resolution. Lastly, we also input our config, which contains our credentials. After running this and the cells after this, we can see that our image is displayed and we can see that we have a nice cloud-free image of our AOI and the time period specified. In the second example, we will calculate NDVI and then visualize this. Both steps can be achieved within an eval script. In this eval script, you will see that we are using band four and band eight as inputs into the eval script. These bands are then used to calculate NDVI in the VAL function. The result of this is then used to populate the image VALs array to, to create a visualization of NDVI. Therefore, the eval script is not returning the raw values of NDVI, but just a representation of this. 
Now let's run this cell. As you can see, we're using the same parameters as previously. So we'll, we will return the same area of interest and image as the previous example. Let's run the next cell, so which will return an NDVI visualization. With the image returned, we can see the NDVI visualization, where the most heavily vegetated areas are dark green, and the less vegetated areas are lighter shades of green. You can also find many other examples of eval scripts in the Sentinel Hub Custom Scripts repository. For example, here we're looking at a false color urban RGB composite visualization. To use this in your notebook, it's as simple as copy and pasting in the code from the example in the repository into your eval script to parameter in the notebook and then rerunning the cells. The result of this is the same shortwave infrared false color composite as we saw in the custom scripts repository.